this episode five? It can't be. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be playing Animal Crossing. Can you shut up? I am very excited to be playing Animal Crossing City Folk. This is episode two. I'm so excited to see our villagers make more relationships, see how the storyline goes in Animal Crossing City Folk, because I know in the other ones, we were trying to get KK Slider to come. I don't really know what the storyline is for Animal Crossing City Folk, but I hope it's exciting. But yeah, let's get into it. Amaze. Oh my God, hey girl. Hang on, are you? Hi, Poppy. So what do you think of Dortanga? I love it, obviously. Well, I hope you get settled quickly and make lots of friends around town. Well, if anyone saw the last episode, it was uh, pretty touch and go on making friends. Oh my God, wait, fix my hair. Fix my hair. Fix your hair. Can I come? Oh, hey. Oh, real sorry to bug you this late in the evening. But what? Let me introduce myself. I saved. I saved. I saved. Gave me a heart attack. I know who you are. You come and yell at me if I don't save. I went up to bed in the attic. I don't know why my bedroom's in the attic and I hope I can change that. Maybe that's gonna be our goal of the game, is that we do some remodeling. Why is everyone so testy? You know what I'm looking for is Mr. T. Nook. Able sisters, I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for... My arch nemesis. Hopefully he has something good. Welcome, Poppy. We've got a time special running right now. All items are half off! Wow, okay. Let's do this. I don't really know if I want this chair. A tulip chair. It costs 700 bucks. I don't know if I have room for it, but everything's half off, so I think I should just buy everything, right? A few moments later. Okay, so it seems as though I've bought everything. No, that's it. That's it. I don't really know what the next step in the storyline is, but Nook has nothing for me. Maybe we can go to like the town hall? Oh my god, we can talk to Tortimer. <laughs> and then tell him I like turtles this time instead of whatever I said. I think I said raccoons. Knock knock. It's your favorite resident. Pally. This is the window for the Civic Center. What can I help you with? Town fun? Do I get money? We are always accepting donations to help make Dortanga the best place it can- Oh. So please give generously. So is this how we make advancements? Is I have to give money? It's not- So what I'm used to and what I think a bunch of other people are used to is the new Animal Crossing for the Switch. And when you go to the town hall and you want to build something, you give it to the little- the guy. And he, he builds the bridges and, and whatnot. Is this how I- okay, I'll give some money if that's what I need to do. Obviously I don't have an answer right now, but comment down below. Is that what I have to do? I give a thousand, thousand bells. I feel like that's pretty generous. The environment, maybe? Gotta love the environment. All right then, well, let me read you some of the comments we've received from the townsfolk here. It's not a passing grade, but it's not a failing grade either. I'd give it a D plus, maybe a C minus on a good day. And that's the report. That's usually how people describe me, so I'm used to it. Can I speak to Tortimer? Can I come back there and say hi? Let's leave! Just, let's go get the tea and see what's going on. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> hey, how are you, chow? Long time. I know. It's been three months since I played? Well, considering how our last interaction was, I've been a little hesitant to approach you. That's actually how I am in real life. If I uh, didn't have a good interaction with you, I avoid you at all costs. So this is very, very true to real life. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you this, but while you were away, the just woke up look went on a- Excuse me? Uh, uh, dragging me. Listen. My relationship with Chow is very rocky. And the fact that he's just dragging me through the mud because I've been away. I I've been going through it, okay? And for you to just say that about my appearance, it's just so bold, okay? And I don't really appreciate it. I love people who are honest, but the fact that our relationship is what it is and you're walking away from me from saying that with your chest, um, 
so I need to go to the salon? I didn't think there was a salon here yet. I really need to say hi to Dizzy and Freya. Dizzy, Freya, Savannah. Like, I need to say hi to all of them. But where's the salon? We're going to the Able Sisters. Hold up. Because maybe Harriet's there? Chow, get away from me. I don't want to see your face. Truthfully, honestly, go away. Just such a rude villager. Mabel, hey. I'm having a rough time, and I really just need a makeover. And it doesn't seem like Harriet's here. So that's interesting. Okay. How am I supposed to have a complete and total makeover when this is what you have to offer me? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any of that. But thank you so much. Let's put on my glasses. Oh, so cute. We love that. Let me go sell my oranges. Sell. Well, that'll give me 200. 600 bells! Okay. Thank you. Hi, Marble Baby. Pause for Marble Baby. You wanna say hi, Marbles? Because I know everyone's met Claudia. Say hi to Marble Baby. She's a little less uh, out there than Claudia. You want me to let you go? Okay. So, there's no jackets. I sold my oranges. Let's go talk. Get the tea. Let's see. Okay, so this is Chow's house. Did we see that message from him? I'm not here, you got that? Chow was an asshole. Anyways, moving on. This is Savannah's house, right? Sorry I'm not in right now. That's okay. That's all right. That's my house. <gasps> hey. Let's see what they're up to. What are you doing? Dizzy, I've missed you. It's been so long, I was worried that you skipped town on some kind of three month crime spree. <gasps> How dare you think of that of me? Did you talk to Chow? Because let me tell you, Chow is the kind that would go on a three month crime spree. W what else are you doing? Show me around town. I love this. How do I? Oh my God, I can stop it? <gasps> Dizzy, how do I get this? Oh my God, I love this! I love it, I love it. Can I have this? But I'm gonna go see what the other townspeople are up to. Okay, so didn't get anything from Dizzy. Is Savannah home yet? No, we have to find Savannah. Also on the, oh my God, Scoot, come here. How are you? No way it's Poppy. Uh, yes way it is. I haven't seen you working out or doing wind sprints around town. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not the type to be working out, but I'm so glad you pinned me as well. While you were obviously slacking, Chow and Peggy got a huge argument. You know, you say that, and I love the tea that we're sharing, but I'm not surprised. Peggy seems a little uptight, and Chow seems to be an asshole, so this lines up perfectly. It was like a cage match, except with no cage, and lots of big confusing words. Yeah, that makes total sense. So nice of you to tell me the tea. Now I just need to find Savannah. <gasps> there she is, oh my god. Just doing girly Savannah stuff. Hey girl, come here, let's chit chat. C come here, Tur turn your ass around. Savannah, Poppy, oh Poppy. I made so many wishes on so many stars and I could see you again. Oh my god, who needs anyone else when you have Savannah? I won't force you to tell me what you've been up to for the past, oh, how many months was it, three? And the way you just came up and started talking like no time had passed. Oh, oh, it's nice to know you think of our friendship as timeless. I do, Savannah. I immediately thought I needed to see you again. You know what's weird? The last day I saw you, I ate an oatmeal and I didn't see you again. And then this morning, guess what I ate? It's like my breakfast was trying to tell me something. I know, crazy, right? Were you eating oatmeal? Because if you were eating oatmeal, I totally understand because I hate oatmeal. I am a certified oatmeal hater. Poppy, you haven't been to the salon in a while, have you? You should go, trust me. It will feel so good in getting a nice haircut for change. Where's the salon? Why can't I find the salon? Maybe if I go up here, it'll tell me? Bus to the city. Want to take the bus? So you're telling me this entire time, I haven't even gone to the city? of Animal Crossing City Fo? This is life changing. Oh my God, yes, to the city. Is that the salon? And is there by chance somewhere where I can buy a jacket? This might be where the other villagers are too. <gasps> oh my God, there's a hippo. 
Oh my god, I need the hippo to come. Mr. Hippo, or Mrs., or whatever you identify as, you need to come to my town immediately. I need you to be a resident, and I need to be your best friend. You know, I think you and Savannah may get along just fine. Oh my god, is there a bear? Look at all of these. Oh my god, excuse, wait. Pause. Hippo first. What's your name? Rocco? No one knows where he comes from or why he does it, but sometimes there's a guy who hands out prizes? My theory is that this is K.K. Slider's day job. Oh, so he's here! Wonderful! Okay, but I have more pressing things. Rocco, you, the city looks like a whole different place when the lights come on, huh? What I'm more concerned about is that you need to live with me? Hi, Qu Queenie! There's something about the big city that I really like, chicken. I wonder if I can figure out a way to live here. <gasps> um, you better keep talking to me because you can live in my town. Excuse me. Caesar? Cesar. I was planning to stop by Red Shop while I was here, but now I'm not sure I should go. That part of the city is awfully sketchy, you know? Interesting. So is that the art guy? <gasps> oh my god, look at all of these people! Hello? Jay? If only once, I wish I could meet a date out in front of the fountain. Oh my god, well, I can set you up. It would be like my own TV romantic comedy. Wait, what I mean? Like a karate spy action. I think you're confused. You you were on the right track, and then you, you know, I understand. I understand. Is this the salon? What is this? Oh, it's closed. Okay, so I can't go to the salon. What is it? I'm about to find out what this is. Okay. What is this? Welcome, lost one of the squirrel. Oh, you have my birthday. Okay, never mind. I can unravel the threads of destiny that surround you, coax the happiness within you to bloom. Listen, many have tried, but I'm depressed. Tell me my fortune. And now I will tell you how to bring more happiness to those around you. Uh, okay. Oh! Sick. I went in there, right? No, I went in there. I did not go in here. What is this? A, A movie theater? Welcome to the marquee. If you'd like to see the show, tickets are 800 bells each. Uh, I have enough. For newcomers to the marquee, we offer a special performance. I'm all ears. The performance will begin in just a few moments. Please make your way into the theater. Okay, sure. I'm excited. Not entirely sure. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay. Wait, I want a front row seat. There we go. Okay. The MC, thank you for your patience. The Marquis is very pleased to present Dr. Shrunk, starring in the feature Disappointment. Okay. before I give my applause. Then to tell you one of my amazing jokes, yep, that's what the doctor ordered. Okay. You did come to hear one of my exciting jokes, right? Yeah, maybe not, because I wasn't really told what this was gonna be. I was just told that I'm a newcomer and it's a special show, so this better be freaking special. Anyway, get ready to feel the excitement. Yeah, you are bombing up there. So, I once got some advice from a respected man of the theater. He said, Shrunk, you'll never be a hit in a million years if you mumble all the time. <coughs> and I've always belted out my gags ever since. You know, it's like when a tree falls in a forest and if there's no one there to see it, does it make a sound, right? I feel like that sort of maybe possibly applies to the situation because there's two people here listening to you scream 
and neither of us are laughing. Yeah, I'm so glad we came to this conclusion that it doesn't help. The doctor is out. Was that your exciting joke? Can I leave now? We hope you enjoyed the show today, and we hope to see you again in the future. I don't think you will. I'm gonna go home now. I'm, yeah. M Mr. Bus, sir. You know what? Let's stop there. We discovered that there actually is a city, and where I'm living is not the city, it's actually the countryside. News to me. We'll turn this off. We'll make sure we save. If you like what you saw, make sure you like, hit that bell, subscribe, get notifications when I upload my next video in this series of nostalgic games, or just the next video in this Animal Crossing series that we have going on. It's been so fun, and I have just been really enjoying this, even though it's the second episode. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching again, and always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!